Don't care. Hello. Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. I'm Izani from Bohemian Houseplant. And welcome to my first YouTube video. So hi again. So if you're my friends, thank you for watching this video. Thank, thank you for supporting me and I hope you will enjoy this video as much as I enjoy creating it. So this channel, this Bohemian Houseman channel, it's all gonna be about DIY stuff, making my house into a home, a lot of decorating ideas and also maybe a little bit of plant tips and tricks since we are in ramadan i want to make a few ramadan slash raya or eat inspired diy project so enough talking let's jump to the first diy project for this first project this is like the easiest diy I didn't think I should be explaining, but I just want to share with you my process. So you can start with taking any canvas frame that you have that maybe you don't use anymore. Any material will do. Like for me, I take one of the canvas I don't use anymore and I painted it with wall paint. Yes, wall paint because it works wonders. And I let it dry for a few hours. After that, I gather a few of my inspo pictures from Pinterest. I like to search for the line illustration and because it's Ramadan and Eid, so I thought I want to draw a moon and stars because when we think of Eid and Ramadan, we think of the moon and the stars. After that, I like to combine the reference pictures and make it into my own design. And because I'm not professional, I have to draw the outline first. And when you're done sketching, it's painting time! You can use acrylic paint if you have, but I only have poster paint because that's all I have with me and that will do. So here we go, Ramadan inspired canvas painting. For the second project, this is also very very easy. I want to create a marble effect quick container. First, you want to start with a blank container. Like the one I use is plastic and it's pretty cheap. You can use any container like a mason jar. And then you'll need two spray paint. One is for the base, one is for the marble color. And I'm using white and gold. You can also use black or gray for a more real effect. So you will need a large container that you have to fill it with water. But I didn't have one, so I'm just gonna use a plastic bag. Now you want to start with spraying a lot of your base color and then spray on top of the base color the choice of your marble color and then I layer it one more time with the base color Now take a toothpick or a chopstick to create that marble effect Make sure that you put a masking tape on the area that you don't want to cover with spray paint Now take your container Place it down slowly and twist it until it covers the whole container. After I finish all three containers, I let it dry first and then I spray one of it with a lacquer spray to give a protection layer. But it doesn't look as good. It looks a bit foggy, like a foggy glide. That's not the look that I'm rooting for, so I leave the rest as is. Finishing it with taking your masking tape off and now we have it, a marble effect container. Moving on to the last project, which is my favorite project. I see this wall art everywhere on Pinterest and on Instagram, and when I saw this, I knew that I can make this myself. So I start with sketching 9 faces of moon because my chain isn't that long. You'll see in a bit. I bought this polymer clay in Shopee, I will link this down below. Now it's time to roll the polymer clay into about half a centimeter thick. And then this next part is simple, I just take a cookie cutter and I use it to cut all of the moon shapes. 
this part is pretty self-explanatory so I don't want to waste your time I'm just gonna leave you watching me cutting all of the shapes Now to create the texture, I use the back of this pen I have and I press it on the clay. You can use anything that has a circle shape like this. After you finish it, bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes or so. The polymer clay I bought didn't come with any instructions so I just filled it and because I thought 30 minutes wasn't enough so I prolonged it and guess what it got burned but I'm just loving how it looks now for the gold chain part you'll need two of this gold metal chain again I will link this down below as for the first chain using two pliers I will cut four pieces with 15 centimeter length and the other five with 10 centimeter length now for the second chain, you want to start with measuring the length of your metal chain and because I have 9 pieces of moon, that means I need to divide the chain by 10 to mark where all the clays are going to be placed at. I hope this makes sense to you because <laughs> I don't know how else to explain this. Now let's start attaching the first chain to the main chain. Finish them all and start attaching the shorter chain to your first clay, the longer chain to your second clay, and so on and so forth. And I'm using hot glue gun for this. Finish them all and we're done! You can also opt to spray the clay with a gold spray paint like the actual one from Urban Outfitters but I'm already loving how it looks so I'm leaving it as it is. So there we have it. Moon face wall art. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> So that's all I have for you in this video. I do hope that you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy doing it. And I really hope that you get inspired and maybe try it one day. And also I'd like to take this opportunity to wish my Muslim friends all the best for this Ramadan. Let's do our best. Let's go all out and let's not make this Ramadan go to waste. So if you enjoy watching this video, make sure to give us a like and or maybe if you have any suggestion, anything, DIY or decorating stuff or maybe you have tips and tricks or maybe anything, you can just comment down below. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in my next video inshallah. Bye! Assalamualaikum!